Okay guys, so Apple is wasting no time at all. Today releasing another beta for iOS 16. Today, iOS 16.5 developer beta one is now available for registered developers. Now, public beta testers, you'll most likely see this populate on your device within the next 24 to 48 hours. But in today's video, of course, I wanna talk about what's new with the latest iOS 16.5 beta one and additional services that Apple just launched today. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, as I mentioned, iOS 16.5 developer beta one is available for the iPhone. Of course, iPad OS 16.5 developer beta one is now available for the iPad as well. Mac OS 13.4 beta one is available for the Mac. Watch OS 9.5 beta one is available for the Apple Watch. And of course, TV OS 16.5 developer beta one is available for the Apple TV. Now this software update comes in at approximately five and a half gigs, but you guys already know, this is not going to be removing five gigs from your iPhone. This is simply overwriting the entire operating system to install the latest iOS 16.5. Now if we go into general, go into about, and then we go into the iOS version. There it is, the latest build number for iOS 16.5 is gonna be 20F5028E. And that's gonna be the first beta for iOS 16.5. Of course, there's gonna be a ton of betas before this one is officially released to the general public. And I first wanna talk about a new service that Apple has launched today that they promised back when they announced iOS 16 at WWDC 2022, and that is Apple Pay Later. This service is now rolling out, and you don't have to update to iOS 16. 16.4 or iOS 16.5 in order to get this new Apple Pay later. This will populate server side on your wallet application on your iPhone. I do recommend you update to iOS 16.4 for better compatibility and your chances to getting this service sent out to you. Again, this is going to be a server side update. This is something that Apple will prompt you once it is available in your area. Right now it is available in the US only. I haven't gotten my invitation just yet, but Apple is slowly rolling out Apple Pay later for customers across the United States. And you'll be able to borrow money from Apple from 50 to $1,000, split those payments for any purchases up to four split payments. And then you'll be able to sort of just with no interest, pay things off a lot easier, maybe when you buy a new iPhone and things like that. So yeah, Apple Pay later, I love the UI by the way. They have a nice UI here. They share this information over on Apple's newsroom. You got your Apple Pay later, you get your options here to pay later or pay in full, you get your weekly breakdown. You also get a calendar. You can schedule payments interest-free. This is an awesome new service that Apple has launched today. Again, it is a soft rollout, a slow rollout. So just wait. You may get prompted here in the next couple of days with Apple Pay Later being available in your region starting in the US. Now I'm going to go ahead and shift my attention over to some of the latest new changes I've noticed so far within iOS 16.5. And I want to start off with Siri. Siri is actually getting a little bit smarter with iOS 16.5. You can now ask Siri to actually start a screen recording so let's go ahead and put that to the test here start a screen recording there we go Siri starts recording right there the screen on the iPhone if I can just get this to work right there I can tap stop if I want to stop and there is now Siri can go ahead and start a screen recording which is something that Siri couldn't do before. Now there's also some minor changes within the news application. So the news application menu got a slight redesign. We have the news options on the bottom left. We now have a new sports tab right in the middle right here. We also have the audio option and right here on the right, we now have the following and search tab integrated in all one option on the bottom right. So yeah, the new sports tab and redesign of the menu for the news application. If you're an Apple news subscriber, yeah, there's a slight redesign there as well. Now, so far, these are some of the things I've noticed that Apple has changed within iOS 16.5, of course. Stay tuned for my follow-up video because I'll be sharing with you guys additional new features and changes that I may come across after using the software for the next couple of days. So make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.